If the show works perfectly and exactly the way everything should be, what would you want people to be talking about on Monday morning? Well, I'd like them to remember that they had a good time. And I think that uh, hopefully, it, uh, and I don't say hopefully, I know Jimmy is going to be an engaging host. I'd like people to come away with it with a sense of celebration about, boy, we, boy, there sure is a lot of good TV, so I need to watch more TV. That's what I hope people come away with. <laughs> Well, now, the past couple of years, the same shows have won for uh, comedy and for drama. Is it good for business or bad for business if Mad Men and 30 Rock continue their runs? Well, I think it's a recognition that it's great work. Uh, it's, it's, a very difficult, it's a very difficult race. I think we do have opportunities for upsets this year, um, perhaps more so than in past years. So I'm anxious to see you know, how that works out. This year, the Emmys are going to be live coast to coast. Could you talk about the advantages of that and why it hasn't been done previously? Well, I think for a long time, uh, people became very concerned with, you know, the time. Uh, uh, will the audience move uh, to an earlier period on, on the western side of the United States? You know, it was NBC originally back in the mid-70s that decided that the telecast would not be live anymore because it had a, had a tradition of being live for many, many years. Uh, but I think the marketplace has changed and people want to know who has won now and not wait to see it rebroadcast. And if we wait to see it rebroadcast, they could, they'll already know on the internet or wherever. Uh, so uh, why not just uh, let everybody know at the same time? And um, you mentioned Jimmy. Uh, what do you expect out of Jimmy? I expect singing, dancing, and laughing. <laughs> and how much room will there be during the show for Jimmy to sort of be Jimmy? How much flexibility will he have? Well, I think he's. I think I know he's got. I think around 15 minutes or so in the program that he can call his own, and and uh, he'll take advantage of every bit of it. And as any astute entertainer will tell you, he will come out, assess out the audience, you know, and figure out which material he's got prepared that he thinks is going to work. And last question: How much Betty White is too much, and how much Betty White is not enough? There is never enough Betty White. <laughs> I love Betty. I go to a Christmas party for the last 20 years that she's always at that same Christmas party and she is one of the most engaging, charming people uh, in, in the entertainment business and certainly her longevity in the business is just beyond remarkable but uh, she shows up at every project with the same enthusiasm as if it was, if, as if she was 20 years old. Fair enough, thank you very much.